guys. How you guys doing? I hope all is going well, you guys. So today is going to be a bit of a different video. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to do a part two because I can't talk about everything in this video. But I'm going to talk about one, the um, combing of your hair. And I'm also going to talk about like breakage and things like that. But I'm going to do a part two because you guys really asked me a lot of questions. And I want to make sure I touch on all of them. So don't be left out. Leave any comments in the comment section what you want me to talk about. And the comments that get the most like replies and things like that is what I will talk about. So going forward, a lot of people are like, oh, my hair is hard, my hair is thick, my hair is this, my hair is that. So I decided to kind of like ask you guys on my Snapchat. And I asked a couple of you guys, as you can see my Snapchat. If you don't follow me, you guys, chill out. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. Um, my Snapchat name is Ronke Raji, so add me. I decided to ask you guys a little bit of like what your natural hair struggles were. And I did a little bit of research myself just to make sure that I'm giving you guys um, enough intel um, on what I'm going to be talking about today. This is going to be mostly a talking video, so I suggest like you just play this in the background. I always say this because I know that's how I watch YouTube videos that people are talking about useful information. We're in information age, so nothing should be like foreign to you. Even if you're in Nigeria, you can buy data now and research, you know. But um, so when you are watching this video, just kind of put it in your ear. It's going to be a long video. So either put it in your ear, watch a movie, anything. Just do anything, shall I watch the video? Um, because I'm going to be talking about a lot of information. I know I cannot solve everybody's natural hair problem. But I'm going to tell you guys what I've learned going natural. And um, what can help you guys. And thumbs up if you want any other videos like this one. Where I talk about all these things. Um, and also comment down below and let me know what other natural hair videos you would like to see. Now with me personally, let's start from there. I don't really do much to my hair. If I don't have it in my afro, which you can see right now is in my afro state, my shrunken afro state. This is how my hair is without me stretching it, without me doing anything to it. This is my hair texture. I'm just gonna move forward so you guys can see like my hair texture. And I do have a bit of shrinkage. I'm gonna just show you guys my shrinkage also. Let me just cut it. I cut the I cut the hair out because if not, you guys will see it. But this is how long I'm still pulling it out. But if I wet it, it will pull out more. But this is without wetting or anything. This is how long my shrinkage is. So this is how long my hair is without it being in my shrunken state. So just gonna pull all that out so this is how long my hair really my hair is stretched a lot and what that means is I braid my hair I don't put any heat on my hair I braid my hair back and I take it out and it gets stretched however when you wear your hair in these stress styles your hair is more susceptible to being stretched and then it starts losing its natural curls so with me I try not to do that stretching method a lot and my protective style I've realized is like wearing wigs because I don't really do much to my hair I have 4C hair I don't really like natural hair typing because the truth is nobody has just one texture all throughout their head I, like for example, I have a thicker texture right here. So I'm more 4C like in the back of my hair uh, Around the nape of my hair. I'm more um, 4B like 4A like some of my hair gets very very like it gets looser curled and the front of my hair is Definitely very loose. thick. A lot of people are like, oh, I feel like it is soft. My hair is extremely thick and um, I have no expectations for my hair. I don't expect my hair to conform to certain things. Like I know by now that yes, I can do twist outs. Yes, I can do braid outs. You guys ask me all the time why I don't do these things. But the reason why I don't do these things is because like basically saying like my hair is going to be like this wavy um, kind of thing. And it's like that's not what my hair naturally does. And I would just much rather leave it to do what it naturally does because that is where your hair is most comfortable and most happy. I know a lot of times when people go natural, they expect their hair to be a certain way. I know for a fact that I did. When I first went natural, I was trying to like curl my hair. I remember me and Banji like sat down and I was like, oh, I saw this girl on YouTube and her hair had like little ringlet curls in it. And if you use a brush and go this way, my hair is going to do that. And 
I had to find out the hard way that different people have the different ways that their hair behaves and I know this might seem hard but you really have to accept what your hair can do and be okay with it. You really have to embrace your hair. You have to understand that your hair is going to be what your hair is. When people are saying like oh my hair is hard or my hair is thick or my hair is something, I always ask them, the first question I always ask them, do you comb your hair dry? Now. I comb my hair dry. However, I comb my hair when it's dry and stretched. So it's not even gonna break my hair. Now imagine if I went with a, number one, imagine if I went with a wide tooth comb, even a wide tooth comb, and tried to comb my hair like this dry. It's not possible. And this is what we've grown up with, like especially growing up in like temperate regions. We've grown up with this whole assumption that we are supposed to be combing our hair just like regular hair, like permed hair. Because when you have permed hair, you start combing your hair from here down. But natural hair is not like that. <coughs> Zero. No, you have failed. No, natural hair is not like that. You have to start from the end and work your way up. If I take a chunk of hair and I try to comb it down, this is the worst way of combing your hair because guess what? Our hair tangles naturally and it's, the comb is not going to pass through. And people are not even using a wide tooth comb. Sometimes they'll even use a smaller comb and you don't want to do that. You need a wide tooth comb. No matter where you are, get a wide tooth comb. Start from the bottom. The bottom, which is right here, start from the bottom just like that and then work your way up I'm gonna demonstrate but I just want to tell you guys before I start my demonstration also what mistakes you might be making so the first mistake you might be making is like combing your head dry all the way from the root to the tip when you're supposed to be working from tip to root the second mistake you may be making is you are not moisturizing your hair or putting any kind of moisture in your hair before you comb it. My hair right now, I made sure that I slept without a sand cap <gasps> or bonnet. <gasps> as far as product goes, because I also get questions about products. What products do you use? Why is your hair growing like this and my own hair is not growing? We've been natural around the same time. Everybody has a different hair growth rate. And it depends on how much length you are retaining. Now, length retention is all about keeping your ends tucked in and safe. So basically, the ends are the oldest part of your hair. And the more you keep it tucked in and the more you keep it safe, the longer it gets. I went natural. The one conditioner that has worked for me is the Herbal Essence Telehydration Conditioner. Now, this might not work for everybody. I've had people talk, um, DM me and be like, hey, you talked about this conditioner. It doesn't work for me because that's not what your hair likes. However, my hair soaks this stuff up. Like no other conditioner I've ever used since I went natural acts like this conditioner on my hair. Always make sure that you're using products your hair likes and don't deceive yourself. If you put coconut oil on your hair and you see everybody's using coconut oil and it's not working, please stop using coconut oil. Your hair does not like it. Period. My hair hates coconut oil actually, which is weird because it's like sprinkle coconut oil over everything and it's like my hair doesn't like it. So stick to products that work for you. If you find that shea butter works for you, because shea butter, definitely my hair loves it. But sometimes when I can't get the purified form, I just kind of go in and use other products. But get stuff that work for you. So aside from conditioner, I've also noticed certain moisturizers work for me a little better than others. The first moisturizer I've been using, I actually got sent this by Jane Carter Solution. And this is the Mist Me Over Curl Hydrator. And I thought I was never gonna find a leave-in conditioner that works, but this, my hair loves it. Like when I tell you my hair loves it, like I spray this on my hair and it immediately cooperates. You want to make sure that you are um, putting in product when it's still damp. You don't want your hair to dry, then you put in product. You're not locking anything in. So when your hair is still wet or damp, then you go in and you put your product in. So there's different methods, there's LCO, LOC, girl, so many methods however i want you guys to understand that it's actually all about sealing in the moisture you have moisture or water on your hair and then you have your leave-in conditioner or anything like that the oil will now lock everything in so that your hair would not lose moisture as fast so for my hair i'm just going to take a section 
Natural hair is something you really have to take care of and you have to put in time to see results. You want to make sure that you're always detangling your hair properly before you even comb it. I'm not going to lie, most of these things I'm telling you guys is stuff that I've learned, but do I practice it? Not all the time. So I want you guys to understand that it does take patience and if you want a protective style, make sure you're putting, um, make sure you're um, really detangling. So as you can see, I'm just using my fingers to just detangle my hair before you I want to remember that your hair grows at least half an inch a month. So if your hair is breaking as fast as it's growing, then you have to figure out a way for it to stop. So for you to retain that half an inch a month, you have to make sure that your hair is safe and you're not over manipulating because a lot of people think oh now nah, I'm natural so I'm just gonna leave my hair out all the time and that can lead to over man manipulation because you're obviously like gonna be wanting to touch it you're gonna want to do different styles to it but if you just kind of like protect it and keep it in like a nice protective style depending on the length of your hair trust me it will grow but as I said, there will be a part two, but I want to be able to answer like the most important questions because I definitely want to help you guys. I want to like, I know that in this natural hair community, there's not a lot of 4C um, hair grooms that have like that thick hair. I've been reading um, is this guy to grow long natural hair by AI Amori. She's Nigerian, isn't that cool? But, um, Okay, what's funny about this book is I've had this book for almost a year now and I read it a little bit but when I was reading it yesterday because I wanted to do this video for you guys, I was like, wow, this book actually has so much information. Um, it talks about hair texture, it talks about porosity and I just really feel like if you have any like doubts or anything, questions that you want, this book is definitely something that... Um, explains everything actually i'm going to record part two next week so it's just up to you guys leave me comments down below i want to know what you really want me to talk about in part two i got so many snap questions and i want to be able to address most of them or at least the most important ones so i also want to get my youtube art squad um into it so comment down below and let me know what you want me to talk about in part two and i hope you enjoyed part one and i hope that i at least started the explanation of how to take care of your thick 4c hair i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for part two thumbs up